Hey guys, I'm Kyle. Welcome back to another video. What are what are these? Are these 34s? guys over this last summer we had a lot of great off-roading trips with the truck went to a lot of cool places northern Wisconsin Michigan Indiana had some really fun times but the ground clearance with uh, with no lift and 31s not quite what I want it to be and uh, the traction we got into a couple slick spots where having an all-terrain tire just wasn't enough uh, really wanted that traction of a mud terrain um, so I decided to make the switch and let me show you what we're going to try to stuff into these wheel wells here. All right, so this is a 285.75. On paper, it's a 33 and a half, but measured out, uh, BFG is a little bit small. It's 33 and a quarter. So this is what we're going to try to fit in this wheel well. Let you know how that works out. All right. So I'll kind of walk you guys through uh, my process, how I'm doing this. As soon as I placed the order form before they showed up, I knew I was going to have to trim in the front here. Um, so I have about two inches of sheet metal removed from the fender there. So my process was trim here, wait for the tire to show up. I got the spare tire mounted and balanced. So without, uh, without doing all five of them, I was able to test fit the one spare tire. In this wheel well, I just finished doing that, and it does clear. Um, so I can't guarantee. Like this is people call it a 34. Um, it's technically a 33 and a half, closer to a 33. Um, but the 285.70 is shy of a of a 33, and that's what people call 33. So I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. But um, if you're trying to clear this same size, this 285.75, I can't guarantee any tire other than the KM3. Um, the tread width on this, I actually measured it, is only like 9 inches. Uh, not even that, like 8.5. Um, so even though it's an 11.5 inch wide tire, a lot of that width is outside of the tread width here. And that helps a lot for clearance. I'm also running the stock tires with or the stock wheels with no spacers. Um, so if you have a wheel spacer or if you have aftermarket wheels that push that wheel out farther, I believe you have more clearance issues with this size of a tire. But this one tucked in there real nicely. Um, so on the other side, I'm not going to do a full how to cut your fenders. 420 Motors made a great video on that and that's exactly what I watched on how to do mine. Um, I will include photos um, just because I feel like sometimes you're like, oh, well, is this bracket cut? Is this bracket left? Um, there's some stuff behind. He did a great job of showing on this outer fender um, what, what to cut on this outer sheet metal. Um, but I don't think he showed a lot of back in here um, on the pinch weld that's, that's back in here. Um, so I'll show pictures of everything that I cut before and after what I, what I modify. Um, but if you want a video how-to tutorial, go check out 420 Motors. They made a great video on it. Um, so yeah, I'll throw some pictures in and then I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys when we got 33, 34s on it. 33s or 34s? What do you guys think we should call it? Let me know in the comments. All right, back from the tire shop. 
Got them all mounted and balanced. Balancing, by the way, these took these things took a lot of weights. A lot, two of them were off by like four or five on uh, on the outer. So definitely took a lot of weights to balance them. Full clearance all the way around, daily driving. Full clearance in the front, flex. Guys, I don't have the leveling kit, so I ordered the leveling kit for the front and an Adelief for the rear. So I do have about a one inch lift coming, but it is not on the truck. This is bone stock suspension, 34s. Full clearance in the rear, tucked all the way up into the wheel well, doesn't hit anything, full lock, full turn. In the rear, daily driving, it doesn't even get close to rubbing, but in the rear, if you flex it, it will get up and rub on the front of the wheel well. Um, so for off-road, for flexing, um, there's some trimming that needs to be adjusted addressed in the rear yeah I'll give you guys uh, a walk around of the truck and some photos feel free to ask any questions in the comments below if you want to run 34s as a daily driver on the CR2 absolutely do it you trim the front right here and nothing else it, I just I drove 50 miles today and it drives great um, gears probably um, I would say you could get away with not re-gearing um, but I'm definitely going to re-gear um, for that slow speed, crawling, off-road torque. Um, I want to have a lower gear ratio. It does downshift more. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's bad for daily driving without re-gearing. Um, but if you want power, acceleration, or any sort of slow speed rock crawling, I would recommend re-gearing for 34s. Until next time. Um, I'll make a separate video for the suspension, and yeah, hope you guys have a good day.